వెల్కమ్ టు టీటీఎన్ నేను మీ సుందర్ ఎస్ఎఫ్ఐ జాతీయ మహాసభల దగ్గర మనం ఉన్నాం జేఎన్యూ ఎస్ఎఫ్ఐ అధ్యక్షురాలు ఐషీ ఘోష్ మనతో పాటు ఉన్నారు ఆమెతో మాట్లాడే ప్రయత్నం చేయాలి కాన్ఫరెన్స్ <laughs> of educating all employing all and uniting all has taken up uh, set a serious task in the coming days so with this slogan uh, after the conference we will be working uh, among the student community across the country in across states to ensure that we are able to fight uh, for an agenda where we are able to make sure that we struggle uh, for a country where education is affordable and accessible for each and every student inside this country uh, we are able to ensure that after education ends uh, students are able to employ uh, themselves an alternative model is built inside this country and in the times when continuously the rss and the bjp and the right wing fascism as it is growing it's trying to bring a communal divide on the basis of caste gender religion we are able to unite all uh, the student community together uh, in this manner Jane you uh, attack on you that was a national news only. what happened that time uh, as we know that the growing attack of the right wing forces in the central universities has been increasing in the last few years be it the institutional murder of rohit vemula be it the enforced disappearing of najib ahmed who was a student of the jawaharlal nehru university and many other several instances across the country in central universities we have seen on the 5th january 2020 what happened in jawaharlal nehru university was just a part uh, of the larger fight against saving uh, the public education uh, fight against the free hike that this government was trying to bring in what happened transpired into the night of 5th of january 2020 uh, was when the rss goons uh, through the help of the jnu administration through some right wing faculties entered into the university premises uh, and attacked the students and teachers of the jawaharlal nehru university uh, what transpired post that is a agenda that the right wing forces the government is trying to continuously bring to make sure that in front of the people of this country it has been told on an everyday basis that education and educational institutions like jamia millia islamia ali guru muslim university jnu hcu pondicherry university each and every central university uh, should be closed down in a way uh, the grants university grants commission uh, should be closed down in a way and alternate uh, loan uh, making institutions are been formulated this in a way is to close down public uh, sector education and to bring in a model of privatization uh, private model of education supported through the national education policy 2020 why i should attack by them actually uh it's not about the question of an individual uh, mm. the attack was on the uh, idea oh. the idea that we hold at student federation of india the idea that we hold as democratic and progressive left forces inside this country where we believe in the idea that education should be an right and not a commodity the right wing forces inside this country today believe in an idea where they every day following a report called the billa ambani report which was uh, brought into place in 1990s which talked about how education should be commodified how education should be sold as items are sold in the market we are opposed to that idea we believe that inside this country like what baba saheb ambedkar savitri bai phule believed in this idea that education should be accessible to each and every person and that is the idea that we believed in and the rss didn't like that that we were able to unite people across this country on that single agenda of saving public education of having an affordable and accessible education where education can reach to each and every person in a very affordable uh, way so they wanted to attack that idea and hence the attack in jail actually they called you anti nationals are you accept that uh, attack at this moment who are the anti nationals we are very clear we just want to say if saving education uh, needs uh, means that to be called for anti national if uh, the fight to fight against the caste oppression that is happening inside this uh, country the discriminations based on gender which is happening inside this country if fa- fighting against all the social ills that is there inside this country is to be called an anti national we are proud anti nationals because we are fighting for an inclusive 
uh, India where we are talking about democratic ethos, saving the secular uh, ethos. We are wanting to say that we know who are the forces at this moment who are trying to break this country, break the unity of this country. It's the RSS and the right wing forces. So it's very clear that who are the forces inside this country who are trying to break the spirit of this country. The left student movement inside this country and the student community at this moment are playing a historical responsibility to safeguard the education, to safeguard the society, the democratic and secular ethos. In contrary to that, what we are seeing that the right wing forces and the student organizations in the name of AVVP and other outfits are trying to break this unity of these students. We should be careful, but at the same time we should also lead the student movement towards a more scientific and inclusive education. How left uh, student union uh, getting victories in universities? What is the secret of uh, your success? Everyday work, uh, taking up student issues on an everyday basis to ensure that an inclusive uh, educational institution uh, environment is available and to fight for students' issues on an everyday basis is the only way that we are able uh, to unite the students and organize the students. Along with working with student issues, what is very important and crucial at this hour and, and historically is the political education, uh, task of political education among the student community. At the time when there is a growing uh, uh, political uh, of depoliticization when continuously there is a net, uh, tendency of uh, because the growing insecurities are in social insecurities are increasing the right wing forces and any other bourgeois uh, student uh, organization are trying to continuously tell students that they need to be individuals they don't need to think as a community they don't need to get education because they can uh, change a society so at that moment it becomes a historical responsibility that along with fighting for student issues we have to also politically train and uh, educate why JNU uh, leaders are mainly, JNU students are getting arrested by UPA cases. What, what happened in JNU? A uh, lot of targeting has been happened uh, happen with other student community also. Mm. But as we know that in some students have been incarcerated under UAPA and mm. sedition charges uh, from JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University also. But we should also understand that uh, JNU being at the national capital, movements being set at the national capital, uh, it's uh, very natural and organic that the student community of the JNU have been participating along and has a historic responsibility for participating with the Kisan movement, if you see, or with the anti CA protests which started uh, off in Delhi. And because they have been becoming the voice of the student community in a larger way, they have been representing the student community in a way, the right wing forces and the RSS BJP wants to show us at this point that if we attack JNU, we attack the idea. Uh, if we attack that idea, it is a lesson for the rest of the student community that if you are going to speak up tomorrow, uh, if you are going to speak for the marginalized community, if you are going to speak for the hijab ban today, if you are going to speak uh, for re, uh, restoring the uh, man of scholarships, then you will also be sent to jail. It's up to create a fear that people who are going to study, if they are studying and going to critically question, uh, then they will be put behind the bars. It's a challenge at this moment, at this time, for any central university or people who are entering into higher education, that we not only need to safeguard our education, but also we need to safeguard the campus spaces because in the coming times, the way the right-wing forces are trying to privatize education, trying to make education only for the few, like it used to happen historically, that education was only available for the few uh, particular communities. It's again trying to make that, that education will only be available to certain uh, social sections, certain religious sections, or certain sections who have only economic a uh, certain uh, hierarchy. So we need to defeat this uh, and uh, JNU is not doing something very different but obviously we have a responsibility at this moment to represent the student community and hence that. Actually you, your organization telling that you know it all. BJP also telling same for us. No one nation, one vote, one language. They are also telling that uh, unite the all. What is the difference between you and them? We are not talking about one nation, we are not talking about one language, we are not talking about a hierarchy being based on the uh, people of this uh, country. What we are talking about is celebration of the pro which is the difference with uh, from that of the right wing forces. When the BJP is talking about one language, one nation, they mean that they are only going to prioritize a single language. When we are talking about unite all, we do know that India as a context, as a country, is historically a diverse society. It has thousands of languages, it has thousands of cultures, it has people coming from several backgrounds, several language speaking, several communities. When we talk about Unite All, we are not trying to impose any particular uh, community over a particular community. We are saying that we will unite everyone. 
with the spirit of democracy with the spirit of secularism with the spirit of cultural diversity at the same time we will be celebrating but we will not let the forces those who are, who are today trying to impose a particular language on us or trying to impose a particular communal understanding on us uh, to divide uh, us in a way that's the difference but bjp is trying to continuously impose one kind of understanding we are seeing it all understanding thrives uh inside this country uh, uh like india because india has always historically been uh, a place where we have celebrated various kind of ideas various kind of culture various kind of language society and this and that is the strength of this uh, country to celebrate this diversity when i see attacked by goons how your family supports you uh they were worried uh, mm. if uh, frankly if you ask but at the same time uh, what uh, the major backbone has been the organizations students federation of india which has been there continuously uh, with my family with uh, me as a comrade uh, so that has been the continuous strength which has uh, made us sure that whatever might be the thing when we are attacked or, or when we achieve something we are not alone uh, it's the organization because of which we are able to go ahead It's also because of the organization we are able to resist the attacks that are happening. Now your family uh, supporting you and encouraging you in the politics. Yes, my family is very much uh, in support of that, and uh, they have always been uh, encouraging and have been very analytical of the uh, movements that have been happening. What is the counter to BJP and uh, RSS politics? The counter to BJP and the RSS at this mo- moment and the need of the hour is to create an alternative. To give the student community an alternative. When we are talking of opposing CVT, when we are talking of opposing NP as an agency, when we are talking of opposing uh, like uh, any kind of policies, anti-student policies that the stu- uh, BJP is bring, bringing, like one nation, one exam. We need to oppose that because we know what are the problems of that thing called CVT. But we also need to give alternative to the student community. That why are we opposing and what is the alternative? We, as the student community, have to bring our blueprint, which is progressive, which has more socialist understanding, which has more inclusive understanding and diverse understanding, uh, and that is the only way forward yeah, in the coming days. Thank you. Ashi. Thank you so much. Today, JNU President Aishi goes to special interview to Sunil Nidhi.